okay one two three four hello youtube how you doing we are on mint linux yep yep and uh how uh, how good or how bad is the iphone user of if they for instance have no mac but a linux machine you know let's say you have uh, an iphone but you don't have a mac and you don't have itunes what's up with that what can you then still do well let's take a look I just connected my iPhone here you can see it Puck. and the first thing that you see is that you will see much more uh, folders you see that you see the picture folders we don't see anything in here how about here hey you see that here are all my pictures and all my videos but hey hold on I also saw recordings what kind of recordings are these oh you see that these are all my memo recordings normally I needed iTunes to get to these but now I don't know if they're gonna play it will have to copy file first it cannot play it straight from there I think we need to copy this can we copy it yes we can copy it this is a song I had to remember <laughs> you see that so you're better off under a Linux machine if you have an iPhone cause in fact you can get to all your stuff here general storage um, okay we don't see anything here photos nada but at least we can now get to recordings so you know I just created a video about what I would like to see in iOS 8 you know that at least this folder here recording folder would also come here in this environment so we could like easily get our recordings that we created and we have the copyrights of that we could like get to them so all the pictures are only in 105 apple okay that is cool because i was cleaning up but it was taking so long on the windows because my iphone is really full you see so i have to remove some files But it only shows me does not show me the video files so I cannot see my videos but I know that I can delete these three here further and I think these two were let me see what this is oh no it can't open it of course because the hard drive is not fast enough to open it let's see what this was copying Okay, this was an invite for the ladies. Delete. 11 megabyte. 488 megabyte. 1 gigabyte. Oh my god, this is a big one. I think these are the files that. I think I can remove these files. Okay, though. So I deleted enough now. Let's clear. Uh, 
of verwijderen, loskoppelen, prullenbak leger. Yes. Oké. Okay. Now you can see that in fact we could get to our pictures, we could get to our memos. And there's a lot more folders we see books I don't have we don't have no book here purchases sync artwork database but yo with Linux you can do just as much and even more than under a Windows or Apple computer if it uh, comes to browsing the files on your on your machine your Apple machine your iPhone because it's also a machine, it's a little computer stronger than <laughs> some computers that people are using at the house still these days, you know but this all is happening under Mint Linux 13 or 17 so remember that an iPhone user can live under Linux and with a Linux computer works just fine thanks again for watching if you think this information was useful let me know and now I know at least to me it was useful because now I know how to easily get to my memo recordings without you know yeah without without using yeah iTunes or iTools I can do it just like that on the Linux it's amazing so that's it peeps we're gonna leave it this way See you in my next video and thanks again for watching. Bye.